Creating effective sales messages in digital and print. Hi, I'm Bill Carmody. I'm going to be walking you through the best ways to create effective sales messages in both digital and print medium. So let's start with print. Start with your target, target audience. Know your target audience and tailor the message to their specific needs and interest. This is the most effective thing you can do when building a message in print. Clarity. The message should be easy to understand and free of any jargon. So if you have industry jargon, take it out. For your purposes of sales messages, get right to the point and make sure it's easy to understand by any audience member, but especially the one you're targeting. Benefits. Focus on the benefits that the product or service could be used for the customer. So in other words, if you talk about features, like here's all the things that are important because this is stuffed into the product, you're missing the point. You want to look at the features, what is uh, the features as it relates to a benefit to the customer. So the benefit is what is the use case of how they use a particular feature and the outcome that they get. Focus on your unique selling prop proposition or USP. Highlight what sets your product or service apart from your competitors. And then create a sense of urgency by limit by offering limited time promotions or highlighting the needs for a product or service. Use a call to action to include clear and specific call to action, such as call now or visit our website. This allows a sense of urgency and tells them exactly what to do with that urgency. And lastly, design. Use eye-catching design that complements the message and helps it stand out. So putting all these together, this will help you create very effective sales messages in print. So what's different in digital? In digital, you want to use more personalization, and you're going to use the personalization to address the individual needs and interests of your target audience. You want an attention-grabbing headline, strong headline that quickly captures the reader's attention and addresses the benefits of the product or service. And then, of course, visual appeal, similar to print, but now you can use eye-catching visuals that is not just the images that you would have in a print campaign, but also video, graphics, to help convey the message and keep the audience engaged. So don't forget that most people are gonna be using their phones to look at your message. So go for mobile optimization. Ensure that the message is optimized for the viewing on a mobile device. Even more and more people are accessing the internet on their phones. And so it's important to make sure that whatever you put together is easily read readable on your device. Use social proof. Use customer testimonials, ratings, and reviews to build credibility. And then a call to action. Include a clear and prominent call to action that encourages readers to take immediate action. And lastly, with digital, you have clear analytics, so use them. Use analytics to track and measure your effectiveness of the sales message and make adjustments as needed. And this is especially true with mobile devices. There's so much information you can find out about where somebody's using their, reading your message, when they're using it, time of day, all of those things. And so take advantage of all the analytics that exist in the digital medium today, including things like open rates and how often are they spending time with your messaging. And just keep imagining if everything you see the world through a digital lens, what would it look like on a mobile device? This will help you keep coming back to mobile first and also will help make sure that when you're writing, you're getting right to the point so someone can easily scroll through and get to the heart of your message and make a call to action. And I want to thank you for taking this time to review this video. I appreciate your opportunity to go through the distinctions between what you're going to be using in both the print and digital formats. The most important thing is to just keep writing. The more you do this, the easier it's going to become, and you're going to get feedback. What's beautiful about digital is you're going to keep getting feedback on what's working and what's not working, specific to your audience. So even though I've given you some of the basics that say, here's the most important things you wanna pay attention to, once you start doing this work, you're gonna find out immediately from your audience what's resonating and what's not. And as you do that, you'll refine your messaging and make it even better. Good luck, have fun.